going to show you how to make what is called quark, the foundation for traditional milk paint based recipes. Quark is created when vinegar is added to fresh milk. This isolates the casein protein, causing it to curdle and lump together and separate from the liquid whey in the milk. There are recipes for creating milk paint that use only milk and lime, omitting the vinegar curdling step, but using quark as the base instead creates a stronger milk protein and makes the paint less susceptible to mold. The ingredients needed for making quark are fresh, non-fat or skim milk and distilled white vinegar. Both of these ingredients must be at room temperature. For tools, you'll need a spoon and a container large enough to hold your volume of milk and vinegar, a warm spot to store your mixture while it curdles, a fine mesh strainer, some cheesecloth, a bowl or sink over which to strain your cork, and plain water. To create a curdle, add vinegar to fresh milk. For one gallon of milk, add two cups vinegar. For one quart of milk, add one half cup. And for two cups of fresh milk, add one fourth cup vinegar. Remember that your vinegar should be at room temperature, just like your milk. Stir the milk and vinegar only enough to incorporate it. It's important to leave the quark mixture undisturbed at this point. Once the curdling process has begun, any further stirring or agitation will disturb the process and you will end up with particles that don't clump, but instead will be broken up into fine grains that stay in suspension and will be difficult, if not impossible, to strain. After a few hours sitting undisturbed in a warm spot, your mixture will have curdled and you'll have quark. Notice there's complete separation of the solid curds and the liquid whey, and that the curds of quark are definite and clumping. Place a fine mesh strainer in your sink or over a bowl and line it with multiple layers of cheesecloth, making sure the edges generously overhang the strainer. Carefully pour your quark mixture into the cheesecloth and allow the whey to drain. You are now ready to rinse the quark with water. This is an important step in the process. It rinses out the remaining whey and neutralizes the vinegar. The quark should be rinsed and drained three times to clean it and remove the vinegar smell. Gather the corners of the cheesecloth to create a bag. Drain the remaining water off until only a few drops fall from the cheesecloth. If you squeeze out too much water, the quark will stick to the cheesecloth and be difficult to remove. Transfer the mixture into your paint bucket or other container. A spoon can be helpful in scraping off the remnants of quark from the cheesecloth. From one gallon of milk, you should end up with about 800 milliliters of quark, or about three and a half cups. The quark is now ready to use in your recipe. You can store your quark in a refrigerator, but you'll want everything as fresh as possible, so use it within a day or two. The quark can be used in two recipes. The first is the traditional milk paint recipe. Lime mixed into quark creates a strong casein binder. Stir the powdered lime into an equal volume of water until a slurry is formed, or add your lime putty to a small amount of water to create a cream. Pour this mixture over the quark curds and stir. They will begin to dissolve into a creamy mixture immediately. You may need to let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes to dissolve completely. When ready, stir in your pigment. This is our Havana ochre slaked or soaked in an equal volume of water. You may notice some particles of undissolved quark still in your paint. Don't worry about these as you'll strain your paint through cheesecloth before use. Your paint should have the consistency of light cream. Add additional water only if necessary. The second recipe is for a quark and oil glaze. By adding a drying oil such as linseed oil to quark, you can create a transparent glaze. Oil is added by drizzling it slowly into the quark while beating gently with a hand mixer. This emulsifies the oil into the casein. Our powdered pigment is then added after slaking in an equal volume of water. The completed glaze is then applied with water and a brush or sponge or any faux applicator to produce a textured effect. It's also an excellent final coating over milk paint. 
Look for details of creating and applying these recipes in the recipe section of our website at earthpigments.com.